if you are tired of constantly feeling overwhelmed with information and losing momentum on your creative efforts, then linking your thinking might be your missing piece to the puzzle. Hi, I'm Nick Milo, and in this video series, you will learn how and why you should link your thinking. You will learn how to do it, how to do it well, and how to do it for years to come. You will see how you can grow your own Ideaverse, a well-connected thinking environment that is 100% yours. To get there, we're going to start with a forest of notes that we call the Light Kit. Light is spelled L-Y-T, and it is an acronym for linking your thinking. The Light Kit is without a doubt the world's most downloaded starter kit for linked notes. Now, as we step inside of the Light Kit together, we're going to act like a child stepping into a sandbox. We're going to explore, experiment, and learn by doing. That's how you will truly unlock the power of linking your thinking. You ready? Okay, let's step inside. Okay, now we are in the Light Kit. At the simplest level, the Light Kit is just a folder with around 250 files. But those files that we're looking at right now, let's call them notes. And these notes point to each other over a thousand times. Let's call each one of these points a link. So we have in front of us 250 notes linked over 1,000 times. And once you get to that many links, your ideas start to behave like a living, breathing ecosystem like a forest, a planet, even a universe. We might call this an ideaverse, but we'll come back to that. For now, here's how we make a link. Now in the light kit, anywhere, and I want you to get very comfortable hitting return, hitting backspace, whatever it is, I'm going to hit the bracket icon. So bracket, bracket, and now it's pulling up those 250 plus notes and it's allowing me to make a link to one of them. So in this case, I could make a link to, let's say, note, note takers, interesting. So that was the first one that came up, note takers. Now, before we go any further, I just want to let you see a little bit about what's happening in this application called Obsidian. In the middle, we have our document, what we're calling a note. Now on the left, we have folders. They are holding all the notes. There are some other icons. Don't worry about that for now. On the right, we have a couple panes, but the one we're focused on are tags. We can tag notes. You might be familiar with tags. Let's leave them alone for now. And in the bottom right, one of the interesting parts of linked notes is that there are notes that mention other notes. And what you can see over here are 33 different notes that mention this very special note called the light kit, because it's essentially our central map of content for the entire light kit that we're looking at. So from these 33 links, you'll be able to get to those other 250 notes all from here. And now let's see how links can help us think better and empower us to generate insights. So looking at the light kit here, and I want you to do the same, just start scrolling through until we land somewhere that we might want to check out. In this case, I'm going to go to habits, map of content, M-O-C. I'll close this for now. And I'm going to click on the first link I see here, which is defining a habit. Defining a habit. So on this habits map of content, let me start with the definition. That's what I did here. And then as we're reading through this, you can do that on your own time. I wanna see where it's taking me if I click on feedback loop. Okay, so now I've clicked on another note and it's taking me right to feedback loop. The more you feed me, the more I feed you. We can read about feedback loops. Related at the bottom, habits carry a ton of hidden inertia. So I'm creating this almost choose your own adventure experience for myself. But as I do that, I'm making better sense of everything to do with what? With habits. So let's go for now to habits carry a ton of hidden inertia. Excellent. So we can read through this one. And here's where I want to show you a couple other things. Look at this. We have all sorts of interesting links starting to happen, not just about habits, but what's this? Jim Collins' Flywheel and Mary Shelley's Frankenstein Monster? I thought we were talking about habits. This is what happens when you start linking your thinking. Your idea verse takes on character that you would have never imagined. We've put ourselves in a position to naturally generate insights and win. So looking at this note, now I have a choice. I could go up to the habits map of content, kind of close to where we started, or I could look at this and say, hey, let's write an article out of this. Maybe let's make it into a video. Let's do something and share it online in the World Wide Web. What choice should we do? And hey, get this. See this uplink at the top? It's not an uplink. It is a top link. Now for background, in 2020, when I introduced the first light kit, 
I also introduced the practice of adding a top link. And that practice has spread because it makes sense. Now, why is that? Because it helps you make sense of things. You have to make a choice. You can only have one top link. And sometimes, in this case, it's an uplink, but just as often it can be an a cross link. Literally, a cross, as in an intersection, as in, guess what? An X. An X is a cross. X marks the spot. So it can be an uplink sometimes, or it can be what we might say is a cross link. No matter what though, you can only have one at the top if you practice good linking your thinking habits and it is a top link, the top most relevant link. So now we have a choice within a choice. Do I show an example of the X link or do I just go up right now? Let me show an example real fast. So I'm going to go over here to search and hit X colon colon and we're going to, oh, look at this, note takers. So let's open up note takers in a different tab. And we can see that note takers has an, a cross link to note makers. So I've told myself that the most relevant link to this note called note takers is note makers. That makes a lot of sense, right? And it'd be kind of silly if I said this was up to note makers. They're on the same level, right? So it's across. And the easiest, perfectly fuzzy way to represent that is a simple X. So before we go into note makers, let's look at note takers and the definition here. These are people who spend too much time consuming information passively, and we've all been there. But in response to the information age, these are people who constantly fall into the trap of mindlessly trying to collect everything, meaning they don't have any time for actual thinking. Contrast that with the note makers. Note makers are people who spend their thinking time in an active, engaged way, making sense of the stuff they encounter. And you can read the rest below, but isn't that pretty cool? So that's what happens. Now we're going to close that choice branch of the Choose Your Adventure game. We're gonna come back to habits carry a ton of hidden inertia. I'm not going to write an article, so let me close that choice. And I'm going to choose to go back up. So with that in mind, I'm going to click back to the habits map of content. And here we are, this should look familiar from when I entered defining a habit. And let's say I'm done thinking about habits or I just kind of want to get my bearings again. It's easy to get turned around. If I want to orient myself, I'm just going to go to the top link. In this case, it's an uplink. Let me put my cursor right here, click. Cool, the three phases of MOCs. If I keep my cursor there and click again on the uplink, now I'm in the MOCs overview. If I move my cursor and just click again, I'm back to where we started, the light kit. And let's go all the way home. One more click takes me home. And shh, we'll come back here, I promise, in a later video in this series. Hey, if you haven't already, you just have to download and wander around the light kit. Once you download it, I'll email you step-by-step -step instructions to show you how to open it up in Obsidian. But the real value is getting all of the exercises not included in this video series. It's about getting the reps. So get the kit and get the reps. Can you see the power of linking your thinking? I navigated around my notes effortlessly. And if I wanted to write an article on habits, I was 80% of the way there. And all of my resources were in a single spot. It would have been really easy and a lot of fun. But even if I never write a single article to the outside world, my work here will still pay off every single day I live. Because when I link my thinking, I can't help but make better sense of my world. And when I leave this behind, I take this with me. And this interplay between me and my thinking environments is all part of my idea verse. More on that in the next video. But basically, the links I make in my custom idea verse directly wire the links in my inner idea verse. And that makes every future choice, every future decision, an opportunity for a better, richer, more fulfilling outcome. You simply must start linking your thinking because it's both practical and priceless. Okay, now, after each video in this series, take a moment and get a couple reps before watching the next one. That means click around, make a link or two. Why? Because you're not here to watch me work. You're here to learn how to consistently take your thinking to the next level. And how do you do that? By getting the reps, get the repetitions. In the next video, you'll learn how we got into all the bad habits in the first place, all of the over collecting, all of the over highlighting, and how the key to fixing this mess is not note taking, it's note making. Until then, stay connected.